I think I made it off before the Asia Cup actually started. I thought that was going to be my last major tournament that I could probably participate at my full potential. You know, I've told the really close friends of mine in, in the team, probably one or two, that, that knew the, my decision. And I didn't want to make that announcement after the game because I just felt that, you know, the team has achieved what it has achieved and I didn't want to interrupt that celebration. I feel a lot more comfortable now leaving the team, knowing that the, the team's going to do well. You know, regardless of me being there or not, I think the team's ready to, to go forward and still achieve great things. I personally think I've got a couple more years in me, but um, I don't think I want to come to that point where it's my body telling me that I have to stop because I think that's going to make it something harder to digest. To come back and play in Australia, you know, I, I would love to. I would love to, honestly, but um, it's not something that I'm really hanging to do. I've said it before, I wouldn't just come back home and play just to get on the pitch and play and and finish my career in the A-League or finish my career back in the country where I was born. I would come back if I know I'm still capable of doing it, I'm still mentally still motivated and physically still fit and you know ready to go.